Hi, I'm Patty. Hi, I'm Sam. We are going to tell you a story about toll-like receptor 2. One day, Billy was working on a project for school, and he accidentally cut himself with a pair of scissors. What is so bad about that, you ask? Well, your skin is the first line of defense against pathogens, and Billy just sliced through it. A pathogen is a bacterium, virus, or microorganism that can cause disease. Poor Billy allowed the gram-positive bacteria Staphylococcus aureus to breach his first line of defense. Gram-positive bacteria has a thick cell wall called peptoglycan, which helps the bacteria. What will happen to Billy now? Look, it's toll-like receptor 2 to the rescue! Toll-like receptors, or TLRs as we'll call them, play an important role in preventing us from becoming sick. They can be found on the surface of cells such as macrophages. Macrophages are cells that protect us from potential diseases by trapping and destroying the invader inside itself. TRL2 can recognize the protein on the cell wall of Staphylococcus aureus as something that shouldn't be there. Once TLR2 recognizes the invader, it forms a link called a heterodimer with TLR1 and activates and initiates signaling. So TLR2 and TLR1 get together with the signaling adapter MYD88 and discover they still need some help with their fight to save Billy. So they call out to their buddy NFKB. He says, hey, no problem, I got a whole bunch of friends who can help, and NFKB calls the cytokines over. Cytokines have the ability to interact and communicate with other cells, and inflammation begins. Inflammation plays a very important role in immunity because it causes immune cells to migrate to the area and kill the invading pathogen. So don't worry, Billy, TLR2 is here to save the day.